doing super well. Stand up straight. Look into the camera. You can never be a YouTuber because you don't never look into the camera. Dog. <laughs> hey guys, I hope you're all doing super well. So today, why are you biting me? Hey guys, I hope you're all doing super well. So today I'm going to be doing a fun summer video for you. It's a recipe video and I know you guys kind of really like my recipe videos, so that's good. Anyways, I'm going to be showing you three different summer popsicle recipes. They're super pretty, super easy, DIY, you know. I don't know why I'm dancing. Anyways, without further ado, I'm just going to get started and I really hope you guys enjoy. So when summer comes around, we all know this way too well. You're just chilling on your computer and realize it's suddenly way too hot to function so you start ripping things off and wiping your sweat and then this happens which is totally gross and unacceptable but we're not going to have that this year. I have a few DIY recipes for summer popsicles that will keep you super cool and they're super cute so why not, I mean let's do it. For all these recipes, you're obviously going to need either popsicle molds or cups and wooden sticks, but I just bought these molds that already had the sticks in them, if that makes sense, so just have those handy. First ones we're going to make are my absolute favorites and the easiest to make by far, and they taste super good. So you're just going to need gummy bears and Sprite or any other lemon-lime carbonated beverage, and that's all you need. First thing you need to do is put your gummy bears inside the molds. You can put as many as you want, but I kind of overdid it. And then you just need to leave some space to pour in some Sprite. And then just stick your little sticks in there. And basically you're done. Easiest thing in the world. Up next, we're going to be making these super cute strawberry cheesecake pops. And if you need to impress your friends, these are the ones for you. So you're just going to need graham crackers and a little bit of butter, milk, sour cream, cream cheese, powdered sugar, and of course, the strawberries. For all these recipes, I'm going to be using a food processor, but you could literally just use a blender. It'll work exactly the same. So what I'm doing here is I added the sour cream, cream cheese, powdered sugar, and milk, and just blended. Then I'm going to add the strawberries and blend as well. By the way, all the exact measurements for the ingredients for this recipe will be listed in the description box. I just thought it'd be more practical, so just check that out. So once you've blended that, just pour it into the popsicle sticks and make sure you leave a little bit of space at the top so you can pour in our graham cracker mixture, which is what we're going to do now. So these are basically individual frozen cheesecakes, which is the cutest thing ever, and they're going to have their very own graham cracker crust. So just add your graham crackers into the food processor and blend that, and once it's kind of blended, add one teaspoon of melted butter and blend again to kind of make a sandy mixture which we're later going to press into our molds so exciting drinking slurpees we mix with alcohol we talked about all our dreams and how we would show so to finish these pops we're just going to top it off with a little bit of the graham cracker mixture and just press that in before you go ahead and put in your little stick and we're done any girl to be getting in my way but if you talk with your hands and we can up next, we're going to be making these toasted marshmallow popsicles. I know, psh, mind blown. So we're going to need ice cream marshmallows, but not any marshmallows. We're going to need toasted, almost burnt marshmallows and sour cream. So to make your toasted marshmallows, you're just going to set your oven to a broil setting and you're just going to let those toast almost burn because the burnt parts are going to give the pops flavor, if that makes sense. So once they look like this, just take them out. Add your ice cream and sour cream into your blender or food processor. Again, all measurements will be down below. And just add your marshmallows. This part is kind of complicated, not gonna lie, took me a while. You've gotta use your hands, just make sure you wash them. And just blend everything together, basically, in batches if you have to. By the way, I forgot to include it in the footage, but you do have to add about a cup of milk in order to help these freeze. If not, they won't freeze, and it'll be a huge fail. So just remember to add your milk. So I think we know the drill by now, just pour and top them off, and we're good to go. Up next, we're going to be making these mango blueberry pops. These are by far the healthiest, and I just thought I should include a healthy option for all you healthy people out there. Shout out, aka not me. Anyways, you're going to need one mango, a little container of yogurt, and some honey. 
and I also had some blueberries for flavor and kind of decoration. So I just added the entire container of my Greek yogurt, and this is plain flavored by the way, you could change it if you want. Then I added my mango and I started blending it kind of in batches as well because it didn't really fit inside my food processor. And then I just added honey to taste and that's basically it. Warning, this pouring part was very, very messy because I, I don't know. Anyways, I just added blueberries at the bottom and then just topped it off with my mixture. See, I told you, messy. And after that, I just put the sticks in and I was done. Hey, hey, it's freezer time. What was that? Who even says hey, hey? Anyways, just put these in your freezer and leave them in overnight. I kind of had to leave them overnight and then a few hours more because they wouldn't freeze properly because my freezer is a piece of crap. Anyways, just do your dance, go to sleep, and in the morning you can eat these awesome looking DIY popsicles by the pool with your friends, you know? Go on, it's summer, have fun. Hey, hey, I'm back. Get out! No. Okay then, I'm gonna film my outro with you there. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you try any of these popsicles out, make sure to tweet me, you're really creepy, to tweet me or Instagram me a picture using the hashtag Uwodu and I will like and comment on all of those. If you guys enjoyed and if you're gonna try them out, also be sure to leave me a big thumbs up down below. Also in the comments, let me know what other summer type videos you want to see next. I send a million kisses your way, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye! No, because, oh my god, you scared the poop out of me. Ah! <laughs> Why am I being attacked? I'm gonna start my own channel. The host of this show, Makeup with Dog. Today I'm gonna show you how to make the perfect cat act. I hate cats! What's with dog eyes? <laughs>